Um, so I actually didn't expect to be back this soon because um, we are going on vacation in a couple of weeks. So I was like, oh, I won't thrift that much and save money. And then um, here we are. <laughs> so yeah, um, I do have a haul, obviously, right? And um, I don't know. I think it's cool. It's not like, I think today is like a really good manageable size haul. I'm really proud of myself. Um, it is not excessive and crazy, but still like a good amount of stuff. So it won't be like a five second long video. So winning. Um, I know that nobody cares at all and nobody asked, but my neighbors are replacing their roof. And it sounds like the weirdest sound because it sounds like it is coming from inside my house. It actually sounds a lot like cabbage when she's like eating one of her cardboard boxes and she's like ripping the sides of the cardboard off. And that's what I thought it was. And I went to go check on her and she was like dead asleep. And I was like, huh, that's weird. Um, so I went outside and I was like, oh, I get it now. Um, but it's like a really weird noise because it's like really, really, really soft and muffled like in my house and it sounds so much like something's in my walls like it creeps me out so the only reason why i'm telling you guys this is because i hope you can't hear it um i don't know <laughs> i guess we'll find out all right um mostly goodwills as usual and um i did go to another church rummage sale so that is exciting uh, my mom found a really, found a church rummage sale, I don't know, probably through the newspaper because she's cool that way. Um, and I was super excited. So that, today is Monday. Um, so my mom and I went yesterday or Saturday. And what's cool about it, and also not cool about it, is that it started at 7.30 and my mom was an hour away from me. So it was an early drive, but you guys know I'm a teacher. So, well, something sort of like a teacher. And so um, I'm used to really early mornings, but it was kind of funny because it was literally like my first official day of summer. So I'm like, cool, like let's wake up at five o'clock, yeah. Um, but we did find some really cool stuff and then um, after I like had breakfast with her and then I went and did like a little bit of like thrifting, um, on my own. So I'll show you what I found. I'll start with like the stuff I got with her and then I'll show you some other stuff. So sorry that it's three minutes in the video and you have seen no junk yet, but y'all should know that that is how I roll. Whew. Okay. Um, so they didn't have tons of stuff, but luckily the stuff that they did have, I was super stoked about. So um, the first few little things are nothing crazy, but I picked up another one of these um, vintage trivet ashtrays. I really like the daisy um, in the middle of it. It just like was kind of cute, right? So I always pick these up, um, especially if they're inexpensive. They're, they look so cool together. Like if you have a coffee table and you just have like a whole bunch of them, they look really, really neat. Um, it would even, they would look really cool in one of those coffee tables where, um, they're like two levels so you can kind of look down and like see things inside of like the inside of the coffee table. I don't know if I'm making any sense, probably not. Um, but anyway, these look really, really cool in there and they're really good for like jewelry and change or whatever. So this was only 75 cents, so I picked it up. This church sale, I will say was more expensive than the other one I went to the other day, but I'm actually like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about my hair. I'm actually kind of excited about that. Um, not because I want to pay more, more money. I don't, but like when these grannies are charging 10 cents for stuff, you're like, what good could this be doing you? <laughs> like other than wasting your time, <laughs> like I'm fine paying 10 cents for these things, but like, why? <laughs> yeah. So anyhow, 75 cents, still cheap. Um, but some of the other stuff I got was higher priced. Um, then I got this other little funny ashtray. It just says, um, it says, I'm so smart. I must be the boss. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I couldn't leave it behind. It was too cute. Like I had to have that. I also love that he's smoking. Just like side note, like, um, then I found this piece of handmade pottery and I'm super excited about it because it's hand, hand thrown and also hand painted. So, um, this is cool. Um, koi fish. Isn't he so fun? And then on the back it's signed and it does have some holes. So I think 
Um, somebody maybe originally used it for wall decor, but you could also, I mean, something like this, you could also actually use for food. It would be cool for like, just like some like snacks. If somebody was coming over, like you people coming over. I really like to do when people come over, I do like all little bowls of like little things. And I just like the way all the bowls look together, like when they're all in one spot. So, um, that's how I roll, but yeah, he's got some crazing cause he's probably from the seventies, but super cute. Couldn't leave it behind. Um, okay. I'm trying to find like a way to put everything down without, um, you know, knocking everything over. That's always fun, right? Okay, then I got um, this shell box. So I just thought it was really pretty. I've actually been really sleeping on these lately um, because I've spoken to this before and so I'm sure I'm a broken record, but like every area has like their vibe, right? So we live in a really coastal area, so like everything's nautical, everything shells, like everything is beach, is tropical, is parrots, like, like everything. So I find a lot of rattan. Um, I find a lot of like really boho stuff, um, pretty easily, but then like maybe more like mid-century stuff I don't find as easily. Or like if I want like anything that's kind of like kitschy, like mushroom, foresty, never find it ever. It's really, really hard to find. So anyway, um, long story short i find these shell boxes a lot because like we're like shell capital of the universe everyone has seven bajillion shells in their home and like i guess i'm just really over like over it <laughs> i don't know i'm kind of used to it i'm kind of over it so a lot of the time i didn't wasn't really picking these up but I finally i you know w seeing a few other antique dealers pick these up i kind of started realizing that there's a huge difference, obviously, like, duh, between the newer ones and the older ones. So this isn't definitely an older one. Um, and I just thought it was really pretty. So it's in really good condition. It's missing a couple shells on the side, but I think I'm going to do like a little, a little repair. So these little shells up here are the same as the ones here. So I think I'm going to try and nab these off the top and then put like something else there. So my mom is like a shell collector extraordinaire. So when we went back to her, their house, she literally pulled out like boxes and boxes and boxes of shells. I was like, mom. Um, so she like let me pick out some little ones. So I brought some like little cuties home. Um, but this was $2, I think, a dollar, something like that. Um, I think it was $2, but I could be wrong. And I'm pretty sure that fish plate was two or three dollars some, something like that um their prices were like pretty similar to goodwill prices which i'm fine with um because it was like for their youth group and i don't know you guys know me and my like goodwill soapbox where i get grumpy with goodwill um but i feel like little like church sales like this i really want to support them and so i don't mind at all like paying a little bit more um but Let's see if I can get this. Okay, then I got this little um like sauce dipper thingamahooey. I could not leave it. Like, look at those atomic legs, y'all. Is that so cute? And then they're like um they're stamped USA on the bottom, and they're really pretty. It's kind of like drip glaze. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I really want to keep it because I, we have people over a lot. Well, we try to, but not always, but they're always invited. They just don't always want to come, you know, <laughs> but, um, yeah. Anyhow, look at these little like fifties, forties legs. They're so cute. Um, so this actually came in a set with this. And they made me buy both and I didn't want to, <laughs> but it was $10 for the set. Um, I just don't know what I'm going to do with this because this I think is missing its lid. Um, it does say USA stamped on the bottom. So I don't know if maybe I could just like list it on Etsy um, for, 
I don't know, 10 bucks like for what I paid basically um, because it doesn't have a lid. So to me, it's not super useful, but I don't know. I haven't really done any research, so it is definitely old and I would hate for it to like go to the landfill or something crazy. So at the very least, I would donate it back to Goodwill. Um, but you know, I, I, uh, I'll see. Okay. Um, what else did I get? Oh yeah. So I got two of these mirrors, um, for $5 each. So yeah, well, you know, there's, whoo, it's a lot to see in here. Um, yeah, but anyway, they're these like kind of white rattan like wicker um I just thought they were cool so I grabbed them both at first I just grabbed one and then I was like oh I'll grab them both because they would actually make like a nice um tray also so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna sell those if you guys what do you guys think what would, would you um like if you were buying them would you prefer to get a set or if you were selling them would you prefer to sell a set like what would you prefer so because I just don't know if I should sell them as a set or individually. Um, it's just going to be really hard to ship them as a set is kind of like where my, my little like wheels are turning in my brain. But I don't know. I could understand if somebody wanted them to like be sold together. Okay. And then of course I saved my favorite thing um, that I got from the uh, rummage sale for last so this is what made it all worth it um, all the other stuff was really cool too though so I was glad I went and it's fun to be there with your mom you know um, mom life but guys um, so if you've watched any of my older videos then you know that I collect um, this closet and I just love it um, or cloisonne some people call it but anyhow kind of tomato tomato situation how pretty I got two of them so I got this one look at the butterfly is that so pretty I got this one and then I got its friend which is this one um for three dollars each so obsessed just absolutely obsessed. Literally love it. So I'll probably keep these um, and put them in my collection. So yeah. <sighs> it's so fun to find stuff like this. Like every once in a while, I I'm one where I do, I do pay retail for things if I really want it, right? Like I have seen um, and like follow some people on Instagram who are like die hard, like I will not buy it for retail and they'll wait like 10 years to find like this thing that they're looking for. Um, I am not that human. If I really want something, like I'll probably buy it. Um, so there's like a few auction houses there's like a huge auction going on um, around us right now. Um, it's an online like virtual auction and it's not um, done yet. You can like bid for like, I think like the next week, but they literally have this, it, it's, um, it's an estate sale auction and they have maybe, I don't even know, like 50 pieces of um, this cloisonne like in their estate so it's pretty mind-boggling to me like it's so cool that somebody would have like all of that stuff right well they just opened it up to bidding last night and things are already up to like hundreds of dollars and some of their stuff is very very old like some of it is true antique so I get it but oh my goodness like it's so fun and validating to find a piece for three dollars when <sighs> it's so much more expensive online so Anyway, you guys know, um, anyone that's a thrifter obviously knows. So anyone who's watching me right now obviously knows, but it still just like feels so good. And then also I'll probably still bid on some of those expensive ones because you guys know me. I'm ridiculous that way. So whatever. Um, okay. Then after I left my mom, I went to some um, Goodwills around her area. My our Goodwills do this weird stuff. So like, I don't know what they're up to lately, but 
they have these like membership plans with like all different reward systems and um the main membership that i have is 25 dollars a year and you get 25 percent off everything you buy so worth it right for me definitely worth it um so sometimes they do 50 percent off like the whole store too so that's always fun but usually like you have to kind of go in like knowing what to get because the stuff is gone like instantly anyhow um they were doing like a weird thing they also do they're so weird guys they also do this thing as part of the membership um every time you spend a hundred dollars you get ten dollars off like your next purchase um they used to do it where it was every time you spent fifty dollars you got ten dollars off your next purchase but i think they realized they were losing like a lot of money on that between that and the 25 percent off like it was really good so they stopped doing that bummer um and then they made it they made it um spend 100 get 10 dollars off anyway they were they do like these random days where it's like double points so um on saturday they were doing double points so i was like well i'm just gonna hit like all the goodwills i never get to go to because they're too far away from me now that i used to go to um and see what i can find so i did find a few things so that was pretty exciting um the other goodwill i went to um they had some awesome furniture. So I do have a couple little video clips that I'm gonna insert here. So those were just some little video clips of some really cool furniture I really wanted. I really wanted those um, white dining, that white like dining room um, set for like outdoors. Oh, I wanted it so bad, but we're doing like a, everything outside that we have right now is teak. So it just like would, it would have looked like it wouldn't have gone well, but oh, I wanted it. I really wanted it. Um, anyway, I did find some like cute little treasures for me. So, well, or for Etsy, um, I love boxes. I just cannot resist them. So this is like a really cute little Indian hand painted box and it has this beautiful wood inlay um, on the sides. So this was $2.99, couldn't leave it behind. Um, and then I got another one too. I got this one, it's a little more simple, just, but it's all inlay and just, absolutely stunning it looks like it has like a little bit of maybe mother of pearl in there um or bone something i don't know hard to tell but anyhow they were both 2.99 so i couldn't leave them behind because i thought they were beautiful so i was excited to pick those up um what else did i get oh i got um another purse so this one was like an exciting, it was like a high, low, high, low situation because um, our Goodwills lately, I don't know if this is happening. Oh, let me know if this is happening to you because I'm so bummed. So they took all the jewelry out of every single one of our Goodwills and they're all going to um, the online store. And I used to find so much good stuff at our Goodwills, like so much tons of antique jewelry, like all my closet a bangles, sterling silver, like good stuff. And it's all gone. So now they just have like the cases with like the most awkward stuff. Like one Goodwill had somebody's entire clown collection in the case. And I was like, yes, use that case space. Like what? So anyway, they usually put the more expensive purses in the cases now because all the jewelry's gone, jerks. Um, 
And so when I found this guy just hanging amongst like the regular like trash, <laughs> I was like super excited because I was like, yes, they didn't know what this is. So I figured I was going to get it for like $6.99. Nope, it was $19.99. They did know what it was. Lame. Um, but I, it's funny because like around the time, um, like when this first came out, like Coach Purse first came out, they, there was obviously tons of copycats, right? So other brands were just like there is now with like other designers, they were, people were, other brands were copying this. So whenever I see this kind of style, I'm always like, is it, is it, is it? And then like you open it and you're like, yes, it's Coach. Um, but it did, does still have its like little taggy on the side too, which is probably why they knew um, that it was coach. Cause you, sometimes they don't notice the big, like inside, um, like coach label. Cause it's hard to see. So it's not in the best condition in the whole world. Like it has scratches. Um, it's a little dingy. It needs some love, but what was I going to leave this behind? No, I was not. Um, it's super useful, really nice shape. Um, obviously beautifully handmade so excited about that um i have tons of purses to list on etsy so i gotta do that um yeah so got that um i think that's all i got at that goodwill is just those two boxes and that purse which is sort of sad but you know whatever oh i got a, i got a shirt silly me okay dropping stuff um I got this little sweater so I sometimes like with the clothes I just actually most of the time like 99% of the time I don't really feel like looking through all the clothes it just makes me tired and then sad because I don't find anything um but they were rolling out a new cart of clothes and I was like I could look through like six things like I could do that um so I found this sweater and um it's not in perfect condition it's got like some poles um so I don't really know if anyone's going to even want it, but I just felt like I had to rescue it because it's like, so it's just so like 80s and awesome. It would be so cute over a little dress, but it is vintage um, Christian Dior. So, you know, got to rescue the vintage Dior. It literally smells like granny perfume. Like I can't even, I don't even know. Like it's probably an Elizabeth Taylor perfume. Like, I don't even know, but this smells like straight up granny, which makes it like even better. Um, but it's super cute. So it was $5. I'll probably get like $25 for it, but I just couldn't leave it. So, which is dumb because I also am drowning in clothes because I hate listing clothes and I hate selling clothes which is also doesn't make any sense because it's so easy to ship, but I just, I don't like photographing it and I don't like measuring it. And I always, I feel like with hard goods, it's really easy to tell if there's like a flaw. And sometimes with clothes, you only know there's a flaw until you like try it on, you know, and I'm not going to try on any of this stuff because it doesn't fit me, um, which is why I'm selling it in the first place. So I always get so anxious that like somebody's going to get something and there's going to be something wrong with it. Whereas like when I sell hard goods, like I know really, I really usually 99% of the time know like if there's something wrong with it and I can put it in the listing. So clothes stresses me out. Long story short, couldn't leave it because it was cool. All right. Then I went to, um, oh, one more thing I found at that Goodwill. See, I almost forgot. I couldn't leave it, guys. I couldn't leave it. Look, it's a little poodle. Isn't she cute? She's not like a super old one, um, but she... I would still say she's maybe like 70s, possibly 60s, um, but she's got her two little babies. How cute! Um, and she was $2.99, so like not bad, right? Couldn't leave it. Could not leave it. Um, okay, then um, I went to another Goodwill. So the, this Goodwill is like, oh, it's such a good Goodwill. It's a Goodwill boutique. Um, so their prices are a little more expensive, but I never leave there without finding anything. And when you go to Goodwill on a Saturday at like 11, when they've been already open for like two hours and you still find awesome stuff, you know, it's such a Goodwill because like, I just think that 
I don't know. I just think that if I could go on a Tuesday night, I would find so much good stuff, but I just I don't get to go because it's too far away. Anyway, um, the first thing I got was this little Percy. Um, I have one of these actually in my collection and I don't think I have it even listed. It's like in my hoard of stuff somewhere. Um, but mine is smaller. So I liked that this is bigger because it can at least, I don't, it will not hold a cell phone, like a modern humongous giant iPhone. Um, but it, it can hold like much more easily, like your lipstick and like credit cards and, you know, a little brush maybe, a little compact. It's got some space there. So it's just really cool in Boho. Um, it's brass. So I really liked all the details on it. It was $15, so not super duper cheap, but I just was, I was just in the mood to buy. So <laughs> it came home with me. Um, and then I got my 25% off on it. So a little better, I, I guess, I guess. Um, yeah. Then I got two pictures and I'm so excited. Everything else in this haul is gonna be downhill from here, guys. So just letting you know. No, I'm just kidding. Hopefully not, I don't know. Um, okay, so the first one, I'll show you the, the bigger one first. Ugh, da, da, da. All right, so the first one is this massive biote. So it is all needlepoint. Um, it's doing a really fun glare. So it's, um, oh my gosh, needlepoint, no, embroidery. Um, it's doing a really fun glare. So it's very hard to see. It is humongo. Like, look at the, look at that, look at that, look at that. Um, but yeah, I am obsessed with it. It is goals. Um, it is so beautiful and yeah, so I had to have it. Um, I actually, I have one like this in our bathroom that's dear and I found it at the same thrift store like years ago. Actually, my husband did and gave it to me as a Christmas present and it's still one of my favorite things. Um, and that was probably four years ago. And then I had another horse one that was a newer version. So this is a, this one's quite old, um, but a newer version that was also embroidery from the same thrift store that I also, that I sold on Etsy. So that has gone to a new home, but this I think will stay because it's just so big. It, I just feel like it will be such a beast and a half to try to like ship this and it's under glass and, and um, I have to share because taped to the back of this picture was a note and you bet your bottom I'm gonna read it to you all right so it says to whomever buys this picture my 97 year old grandmother made this needlework of the horses it was very hard for me to part with but I have so many of her art pieces please enjoy and take great care of this wonderful masterpiece from a cherished lady Victoria so I can't sell this obviously because Victoria wants me to keep it and love it forever. So Victoria, I will do just that. Um, I really love it. I'm planning a gallery wall in our dining room. I just can't decide if I want it to go like mid mod and like funky or if I want it to go like antique -y like this. So don't know. I'll let you know when I figure it out. Sorry, I had to take a quick intermission because cabbage does not like when I talk to the camera. I don't know why. If I'm just like milling around the house, just like minding my own business, she's asleep. She doesn't care. But as soon as I start talking for a long period of time, she just like gets so anxious and wants to get let out. And then if I let her out while I'm filming, um, she'll know that I'm stuck here and that I can't go and chase her and she'll eat the dining room table. So there's that. Um, okay. So I just showed you this awesome picture that this um, lady named Victoria donated from her mom, I think, or grandma who was 97 years old, the horse picture. So, so good, right? But yeah, really big and probably really hard to ship. So it shall stay with me for now. Um, okay, then the other picture I got um, is another good one. I'm super excited about it, guys. Okay, um, it's a vintage portrait. Wow. Um, but how good is she? 
Isn't that just amazing? So it's an original portrait. Um, it is signed. It's actually dated 1945, with, which also like gives me all the like vibes in the world. I'm obsessed with it. But look at her hairdo. Like, come on. So good, right? Like, oh, and she's so beautiful. She's so incredibly beautiful. Um, and then also like, look at this old Burlwood frame, right? Magic, absolutely magic. So um, clearly I couldn't leave her behind. She was $20, um, but or $19.99, so $20, um, but worth it. Definitely well worth it, cause I love her. She's beautiful. So that's another one that's gonna be hard for me to sell. <sighs> Okay, so that is all I got um, from those Goodwills. Then there's a couple of um, things I found from a local Goodwill and just like a local, like, I don't know, like kind of mom and pop little thrift. Um, so that helps um, a women's shelter, so always want to support them even though their stuff is expensive okay so um the few things I found from my like local around me goodwills I picked up more boxes because I'm ridiculous so I just thought this was hilarious um it's like a little flock of geese it's made out of like straw um the side is pretty cool and the bottom's actually like my favorite part other than the, the hilarious geese um and then it's just red on the inside. So I picked that up, it was a dollar. Um, then I got this brass box that I'm very excited about. Um, it's inlay bone and it has this really cool bird on it, but look at the detail. So it's actually an older piece um, and I just think it's so pretty. I love brass anyway. So this was 99 cents, so that was a very good deal. I was excited about that. Um, then I got another little Italian um, Florentine box. So this is very pretty, little blue and kind of shabby gold. They look really nice, like all together too, like paired. Um, I don't know, but that's kind of how I like them. Then I got a set of these uh, Di Sirono, vintage Di Sirono glasses. I just like the square shape and the, I don't know, like the clean lines and the the black bottom is just really pretty on them. So got those. Um, then I found actually some stuff in the clear glass area. So don't sleep on the clear glass because a lot of the time I'm like, ugh, I don't even wanna look at it cause it's a lot and I get really overwhelmed. But I found a couple things there that I probably wouldn't have found if I didn't like go back through multiple times. So the first thing is this adorable little owl candle holder. I love that his little wings are like in flight. So I'm gonna keep him and throw him in my Halloween decor, I think. I don't know, I just really liked him. So he was only a dollar also, so worth it. Um, and then I found a pair of mid-century candlesticks. So these are really cool. Um, yeah. So they're a really nice heavy um, glass they i love the texture and i love like the weird like kind of funky shape on the top of them but they're really really pretty so i probably would not have picked these up um if i didn't take some time to sort of look through all the clear glass because these are really special and a really nice set so excited about that um okay what else did I get? Oh, I got another one of these guys. This is a bigger one, um, not like super big, but bigger than some of the other ones I've had recently. So this guy's pretty cool. Um, I always pick these up whenever I can find them. This was 99 cents too, like such a good deal. Um, what else did I get? I got two of these little um, peacock chairs, these little sort of, what are they, rattan? 
I guess they're probably technically straw, but they're supposed to look like rattan. So I got two of these. They were $2.99 each, so definitely worth it. Very into those. And, oh, all the other stuff is buried. Silly me. I got a set of these little needle points. I'm super excited about them. I thought they were super cute. So again, like I was saying before, it's Shell Town USA over here. So um, find a lot of vintage shell stuff, but these are cool. I like that they were needle points. So I got that one. I got the little seahorsey, super cute. And the little starfish. So those are gonna look really, really cute all together. Um, so I will definitely sell them as a set. Then I found this little guy, just thought it was cute. Um, handmade little piece, just like a, a nice little filler piece for a gallery wall. All of those were a dollar each, so that was a good deal. Then I found this cool souvenir piece from Jerusalem. So it says souvenir from Jerusalem, flowers from the Holy Land. So I just thought that was really neat. It's um, pressed flowers. And it's definitely an, a vintage piece. Um, it says handmade in Israel and it's olive wood. So that's neat. I wish they hadn't put this sticker like right over the top of the back because the back's paper. Goodwill, why? Why do you do what you do? Um, but 99 cents again. So all these little pictures were 99 cents each. So clearly worth it. Um, okay. Then I found this cool handmade bowl. Um, I definitely almost missed this. So my suggestion is, even though this is super obvious, so like, but my suggestion is stand back from the aisle as much as you can because um, even though it makes more sense to be like right on top of everything so you can really see it in, in detail, I don't know why, but it's just easier if you stand back to really scan the, the aisle and you can see things. So this guy was on the bottom shelf and it had a bunch of stuff like on top of it. So I wouldn't have seen it if I hadn't, um, really taken time to like step back and look at the aisle overall and I also go down every aisle like four times like I just kind of go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and you won't believe like the stuff that you find like on like your fifth try like it's so crazy those little needle point shells I found those on like my like fourth or fifth go around because they were buried under a bunch of other stuff and they were all the way in the back and I just wouldn't I would have missed them so um that's my other tip to find kind of cool stuff so this is handmade. It's by Sherry Holmes. Um, originally, I thought it looked kind of like German, um, but when I picked it up, I was like, ooh, I think that's handmade, and it is. So this is just a really cool piece. I'm not really sure if I'll list it or not, but it is great for like a variety of things. So um, it's hard to sometimes find these bigger pieces, so I'm really stoked about that. And the glaze on it is lovely very mid-century in my opinion we're kind of 80s too but maybe like an 80s callback to mid-century I don't know but anyway neat so I was happy with that find um then I got a little piece of French um like I don't know is it porcelain? no I'm gonna say it kind of reminds me of um ironwood I just don't know if it really truly is because it's not marked on the back it has like a little stamp but that's it but anyhow I just thought it was really pretty um it's kind of like a transferware plate and I liked these derpy weird birds so I you can see I like picked the price tag off of it so I could see the weird birds but what's nice about it is it doesn't have any chips or cracks um 
which is hard to find with these older pieces. So if somebody really actually did want to use it, they could. There's also very little crazing. There's crazing on the back of it, but not a ton on the front. So it still could be used um, if somebody wanted to. I would kind of suggest to use it for decor, but anyway. So I picked that up. I think it was $1.99. So I just was like, yeah, it's cool. Like, let me grab it. Let me try not to break it in doing so. Um, okay, then I went to um, another thrift store that I absolutely love, a hospice, and I picked up a few things from them. They usually know what they have, so their things are pretty expensive, but their things are awesome, so, you know. Um, so, I got this um, German bowl. It's like Walker, Walker, Walkerbach, I think. Walker, Walkerbach, is that right? I don't know. I can't pronounce it. Um, it's not one of the really old pieces because it has the sticker, but it's an, a larger one, which is kind of nice. And I like the hearts. So it was $2, which was a good price. I was happy with that. Um, then they, they do things like based on color. So I found this little um, dried flower picture that was a dollar. Um, on sale from three dollars and then I found this little painting that I thought was really cute um, so it was twelve dollars originally and then half price to six so I felt like that was worth six dollars cute so those will probably all make it to Etsy at one point in time um, this one's just framed so nicely I love like the linen and just really pretty so got those thingamahooies. Um, okay. I really did not need this, but I've been trying to curate a like um, blue and white and brown mug collection so that when we are ready to do open shelving, I'm going to do like all pottery and then like some of my blue and white um, pieces and like blue and like white mugs. So I really liked the cranes on this and I liked sort of the bamboo handle. So I nabbed this for my collection. Don't need it. Um, if you guys have seen my mug purge, um, video, then, then you should be appalled by this, but <laughs> what can you do? It was a dollar. Um, so cute, cute, cute. I got a little piece of pottery. I believe I got this from the Habitat Restore. It's marked uh, 1981, so that's cool. And I would have gotten it either way because I love handmade pottery. Uh, I've just been so into it lately. But look at the ducks, aren't they so cute? I mean, how could I leave behind ducks and how could anyone give this away it's so sweet so very excited about that little guy i think this was like our restore is kind of expensive i mean you know comparatively this one so i think i want to say maybe seven dollars something like that but worth it because he's so cute um Got another little piece of Navajo pottery. So this guy, I actually got a good deal for, I think I paid $4 for it from the women's shelter thrift. And I think I got such a good deal on it cause it was really, really gross. Like it was so dirty and just ugh, sticky and terrible. So I spent a while washing it. It's still not perfect, but it's not sticky and it's, it looks pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with it, but it's a really pretty little piece. Obviously doesn't have a huge amount of value, but it's just so pretty. I love these little Navajo pieces. So I pick them up whenever I see them. And that was a good deal because it was really gnarly. <laughs> I mean, that's what I think. I don't know. Then I picked up a little piece of Bone China by Royal Adderley. Um, so it's an English company. And I just thought he was really cool. He's a canary. Um, he's in really nice shape. So I loved his painting. He's really, really well done. And 
he one of the leaves this one leaf right here you can see has a little chip but otherwise it's perfect which is really hard to find when they have these flowers and leaves and everything in perfect condition i even love his little feet so i just thought he was super cute i did pay like ten dollars for him but i just i don't know i just thought he was cute um is that everything it's pretty close to everything i got a another mushroom canister so this is an arnell piece from 1982 but i think it was pretty well done it looks nice this also needed a bath so gave it a good scrub so that was five dollars i believe i always pick up that old mushroom stuff whenever i can find it because it's hard to find and very popular right now and then the last thing i got from that same thrift is another vintage coach so i liked this one a lot um i like the the messenger bag sort of style it's not as old as the other one but it's a really pretty color it's also not in perfect condition it's got some water spots on it but you can kind of see but it's really really pretty and soft so i liked it i believe i paid 20 dollars for this one as well yeah it was 25 and then i got um 30% off. It was like a spin the wheel. So I got 30% off, which was really exciting because that's the highest you could get. And I never get 30% off. I always get like 10 and it's sad. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I got a couple little pieces of clothing. I got one little shirt that I'm super excited about for myself. That's by um, Vinny Ball. So I believe this is a anthropology brand. So I'm not I haven't really looked it up, but I love it because it's this pretty print with butterflies and stuff, but it also is embroidered. So the sleeves, um, this is not part of like the actual pattern. This is embroidery. So it's very detailed and just really pretty. So, and I did try it on, even though I didn't feel like it and it looked really cute on. So excited about that. And then I got a, that was $10 and then I got a vintage sweater for a dollar. Um, this is just a vintage Ohio State sweatshirt. It's got some stains on it, but I just figure these old college sweaters are really popular. And if this was my university that I went to, I would definitely be totally into like a vintage sweater. So I picked it up. All right, guys, so I know that I talked a lot, even though I didn't have that much stuff this time. I don't know, but I appreciate you. Thank you so much for everyone that is watching and leaving comments. It really means the world to me, um, obviously. And thank you to everyone that subscribed. You've gotten a few more subscribers recently, so thank you. I appreciate that, and I hope everybody has a really good one. I should have a good haul, hopefully. In the next couple of weeks, we are going to Minnesota for like five days. So um, it won't be big stuff because we have to fly, but hopefully I can find some cool loot. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>